Leo kutoka kwa one and the only Irene Tale Gukuba is the song ndio ni sita tano kutoka Black FM inatufikisha sita na dakika sita and kwa kifupi tu tuangalie mambo ambayo anafaa kukudondoshea pamoja hapo ikiwa ni mshindi wangu wa airtime ambaye niliuliza swali rais uh, labda nikurudie tuko wepesi swali niliuliza ni mnyama gani wa kufuga ambaye huzaliwa akiwa kipofu na kiziwi Watu wameniambia mambo mengi sana. Kuna ule aliniambia kuhusu mbuzi. Mwingine akanaambia kuhusu kuku. Kuku wazaliwi kufanya kuanguliwa. Uh, wengine wakasema nguruwe, wengine wakasema nini? Kila mmoja ametaja. Lakini alinipatia jibu la kwanza ambalo liko sahihi kabisa si mwingine. Aliandika hashtag mziki mzuka Jacob Kengo Baba Nyundo alisema ni mtoto wa mbwa. Na bila shaka mtoto wa mbwa anapozaliwa huwa haoni wala hasikii utumia harufu tu kujua nyonyo ya mamake kwa upande gani. Na katika awamu uh, na mgeni ambaye namtarajia kama atakuwa anaingia toka tunaliongelea swala la mindset eh, lakini kama atafika basi itakuwa na kugusia mambo mawili matatu darasani kiasi. Lakini kwa sasa hivi Muziki mpya moto ya umeme mambo mapya uspime mwanangu Baraka FM shikamo shikamo Dada DC the Tal Luigi Tal Black FM new home of Ambi na Afro Bomb Nitamo Farm Captain Louis and finally mgeni wangu ameweza kufika anaitwa bwana uh, Menza mimi jina la Menza ndio napenda kulishika rais lakini ana jina lingine ambalo anakuwa anatueleza majina yake kamili anaitwa nani na ana deal na masuala ya mindset unajua muda mwingi tumekuwa na mindset ambazo zinafanya tunabaki pale pale tuna stagnate stagnate katika same thing na tunakosa tuna, tuna kuendelea kisaikolojia na hata pia uh, katika masuala ya kawaida karibu sana bwana Menza uh, shukrani sana bwana Louis nam Ah uh, kwa majina kama walivyosema bwana Louis mimi naitwa Biria Menza. Biria Menza. The word Biria ndio ilikuwa inanikimbia. <laughs> Ina kajina kizungu lakini si kizungu. <laughs> la kwe horiro. Ni la kwe horiro. Haya sawa. Na bwana Biria Menza. Eh. Uh, Tupatie kama introduction tu wewe ni nani na una deal na nini? Okay mi ni mindset specialist. Mhm. Na huwa sana sana naangazia mambo ya akili ama fikra za binadamu. Nam. So katika fikra za binadamu kuna venye zimewao categorized. Nam. Mm-hmm. So tuko na kategori mbili ambayo tuko na fixed mindset mm-hmm. na tuko na growth mindset. Right? Then tuko na five levels of mind. Mm-hmm. Of which ya kwanza uh, we have successful and happy mind. Mm-hmm. We have a successful mind. Mm-hmm. We have a normal mind. Mm-hmm. We have flesh desire mind mm-hmm. and we have abnormal mind that the 51. Bila shaka msikilizaji pale nje nafikiri tayari ulikoshachukua kalamu na karatasi maana ni class Tuesday na ushaanza kuandika hizo levels za mind. Pengine kabla tujaingia katika hizo levels na categories. Uh, umekuwa uki, 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 ukifanya hizi vitu wapi? Pengine ume umetrain akina nani au uh, umebadilisha society vipi na umekuwa ukifanya haya ma, mafundisho katika sehemu gani na gani uh, haya mafundisho nashukuru Mungu amenuwezesha huwa anapitia katika mashule uh-huh. primary schools uh-huh. high schools uh-huh. colleges uh-huh. polytechnics uh-huh. universities uh-huh. na pia naingia katika uh, prisons uh-huh wote wote huwa na wagadha uh-huh. tunakuwa na wakati mzuri wa kufundishana hii mindset yeah. na pia huwa na kutana na uh, groups za wamama uh-huh. wazee tunaangazia hili jambo maana kila mtu anajiona za kwao iko sawa uh-huh. lakini ukimtazama kwa kina unapata ako na kitu fulani ndani yake ambako kendi sawa na ile akili yake yeah. uh, so tunakupatana pamoja tunazungumza ile swala na vijana wanabadilika na ukiangalia katika kubadilisha vijana je umefaulu kubadilisha vijana kama wangapi so far kutupitia program ya mindset. Uh, vijana ambao niweza kubadilisha ni kadhaa sisi sema ile idadi sabu hawakai pali pamoja. Naam. Lakini wenyewe ki, ni ki wa visit especially mashule Nam. unapata paka zile grading zao au marks zao mm-hmm. huwa zina change na zina upgrade. Yeah. Sasa pia katika shule kuna venye Uh, kuna some levels of listening sio mm-hmm. tunafundisha pale mm-hmm. so kuna venye mwanafunzi akiona ile the best level of listening inakuwa rahisi yeye ku interact na ile subject mm-hmm. of which pia anapata mtani wake kukupita right. so kuna baadhi ya wanafunzi ambao walikuwa pia wanataka kuja hapa studio 
kwa mashule kadhaa lengoambia bwana mm. siko vizuri kifedha lakini siku nyingine nitampeleka pia utakuja utasifai na pia kuna vijana wengine wa boda boda nimekuwa nao Nam. ambao mmoja wao niko naye hapa studio amekuja pia ataongea kwa niaba yako vinye alisikia na vinye alimbadilisha na vinye aliona iko na maana alright msikilizaji kaa pale pale tukirudi tutakuwa tunaangazia hizi uh, category mbili za mindset ambayo ametueleza kuna category ambayo ni fixed na ile nyingine umesema inaitwaje growth mindset growth mindset alafu pia na zile levels tutaweza kuzigusa moja baada nyingine kwa kifupi tu maana tukianza lecture hapa na huyu mwalimu tunaweza kwenda paka jioni lakini akizigusa kwa juu juu pia nitakuwa na kupatia fursa baadaye uweze kumjua ni vipi unaweza kumpata kwenye mtandao na uweze pia kumtafuta uweze kujua mengi kuhusiana na masuala mindset Muziki mpya moto ya umeme mambo mapya uspime mwanangu baraka fm shikamo shikamo Ziki mzuka moto sio zimika end ni class tuesday ukipenda hashtag class tuesday tuko na bwana menza ambaye anatupeleka taratibu kuweza kufahamu bambo ya mindset na mturudi kwenye masuala ya mindset sasa ulituambia kuna categories mbili ambayo ni fixed na growth mindset hebu tufafanulie hizi mbili okay uh, katika hizi kategori mbili uh, fixed mindset na growth mindset uh-huh. Fixed mindset ni ile mindset ya kuwa haiezi enda beyond any limitations. Mm-hmm. So ni ile kwa unapata wanataka kufanya kitu but kuna kuja sauti fulani na kuambia you cannot make it. Mm-hmm. So if you try this utajebisha. You don't have the talent. Stop it. Mm-hmm. See? Mm-hmm. But a growth mindset ina you know, hata kama sina talent but if I try it with time i learn and i'll manage it uh-huh. no. so ni mind ambayo haiwezi ah, zuiwa na kitu uh-huh. no matter how hard the challenge is lakini with a growth mindset you need to move you go beyond the limitations no. you hit the wall and you break the wall where there's no way you make a way right. with growth mindset uh-huh. but with a fixed one you cannot go beyond it ukifika kwa challenge kidogo kujia then Unainua mikono. Unainua mikono. Mm-hmm. Una surrender. So your mind is fixed somewhere. Mm-hmm. It is bracketed. Haiezi in and in your box. Mm-hmm. Iko pale ndani. Yeah. Inazungwa tu hapo. Yeah. So kwa mfano kuna huyu samaki anaitwa koi fish. Unaona. Mm-hmm. Koi fish sana sana tutapenda kumtumia na akili zetu. Koi fish ukimchukua ukimwe katika aquarium. Mm-hmm. Na spot aquarium. Mm-hmm. Yeye hu grow kulingana urefu aquarium. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm ukimtoa pale ukimweka katika uh, maybe kwa hiza uh, what do you call rivers eh? mm-hmm. pia ana grow to a length of like 60 cm mm-hmm. mtoe pale mtupe ndani ya bahari mm-hmm. the same some fish mm-hmm. and at 120 to 160 cm mm-hmm. you get me yeah. so this is how our minds are most of us tunakuwa na ile minds ya aquarium mm-hmm. hatuwezi enda kwa river ama kwa kwa ocean kwa ocean oh, no. No. So tuko katika ile mind aquarium then we are fixed there. We don't change. Opata. Yaani tumeekwa tu katika ile territory tuko, yani mazingira tuko, mm. tuna, tuna tuna grow kulingana ile mazingira iko. No. No. Hatuwezi hit beyond it, hatuwezi end beyond it that. We cannot uh, go to the rivers, we cannot go to the oceans and make our minds grow further. Right. So Ah uh, tukija katika maybe nigusia kidogo uh-huh. uh, levels of mind. Right. Nimesema ni tano. Uh-huh. First level nimesema ni successful and happy mind. Uh-huh. Kwa ni successful and happy. Naam. Mtu amekuwa successful, tukisema successful maybe watu wengi want think about wealthy, money and whatever. Uh-uh. You are successful meaning what? Your heart need to be happy. Moyo wako uwe na raha, uwe na shukrani. Uh-huh. Hata kama hauna. Lakini you have a happy mind you have a happy heart kwa nini okay you may succeed eh? maybe katika maisha tukaangaza katika ni mambo na uh, uchumi maybe uh, money mm-hmm. let me talk about money mm-hmm. uko na pesa uko na magari uko na manyumba lakini unaweza kosa happiness inside your heart yeah. all the time ni mtu ambaye uko na grievances uko na mtu ambaye uko na stress mm-hmm. ile raha hauna so una, you have successful and also you need to be to be happy for to be in the level one. Tukiangalia katika uh, how a dosi wa, wa country uh-huh. like the president and the other other people who uh-huh. are rich enough uh-huh. 
they are successful yes they have everything but to kijaribu kuangalia kwa kina they are missing this happiness uh-huh. you get me yeah. so we've come to level two. we have the successful mind uh-huh. you get me so in successful mind in this level ambayo in a meet challenges and it overcomes the challenges in a fight na challenges yeah. so if you fight with challenges challenges ikuja unapigana nayo unaishinda unapita mbele then you become successful and you meet the happy mind so level 1 umesema ni successful and happy successful and happy yeah. level 2 ni successful successful all right when was level 1 inakuaga ina hiyo happiness na iko na success alafu level 2 uh, inaweza kufaulu ku break yeah. na kuingia kwenye happiness kuingia kwenye happiness all right turudi baada muda kiasi msikilizaji popote ulipoendelea kutegia mziki mzuka ni hashtag class tuesday siku kama ya leo huwa kalamu na karatasi ni important sana ndio uweze kuyapata vizuri mambo ambayo yanadondoka ndani ya mziki baraka fm lamu wanashika mo Amsha popo kutoka kwa Nayo Mitego right here na 95 utaa baraka fm ni homo fa ambio na afro popo ni tomo fa me captain louis muda unasonga sana na tunabudi kuangalia story na kwenda vipi so tumefika katika kategori ya pili so tunakwenda level ya pili that is tunakwenda level ya tatu right level ya tatu ni gani uh, <coughs> level ya tatu tunaita normal mind uh-huh. ama faithful to reality uh-huh. hii ni ile level ya kuwa unapata mtu atuseme kwa mfano wewe ni businessman si ndio mm-hmm. uko na ama umeandikwa umeajiriwa hivyo mm-hmm. so una depend na ile salary nyo uko nayo mm-hmm. huwezi fanya side hustles like uh, tuseme kama uko na uko na bibles of ngole kama ni kibanda cha cha mboga mahanga pale ufanya mm-hmm. uko mfanyia biashara fulani fulani mm-hmm. so kama wewe ni mtu ambaye umeandikwa umeajiriwa you are earning like 30000 a month then umeeka kile yako pale So unaenda kulingana na ile hali venyiko the reality of the situation. Uh-huh. Yaani huwezi change unapata. Uh-huh. So unaona kama mimi nakula 30 then ni 30000. Siwezi fanya any other business outside nika nikaongeza hivyo kama ni 35 40 kitu kama hiyo. Uh-huh. So ile 30000 ndio hii nalipa school fees, ndio hii nalipa rent, ndio hii mambo na kukula. Yaani fair kuja job uh-huh. vitu kama hivyo. Uh-huh. So you are there. Then utapata at the end of the day mwezi kisha mfuata ishe umeishiwa unaanza kufanya nini? kuhasol. Kwa hivyo naishia kumaliza ta miaka kumi at the same place. The same place. Mm, mm. So ni mtu ambaye aji realize. Ah for sure mind me, yangu ninaenda kulingana na ulimwengu venye uko, ni venye viko tu, ona. Mm, mm. Siezi enda before and be beyond Beyond. This, yeah, yeah. Niko tu hapo. So ndio kusema nini? Nilipokueleza kuhusu uh, fixed mind. Eh? He fixed mind inaenda na hii level 3. Mhm. Yaani you are bracketed somewhere. Mm. Ona. So unajua mimi niko hapa na niko hapa na sisi toka zaidi hapa. So tukitoka hiyo level mm. tunaenda level number 4. Yeah. Level number 4 tumesema ni fleshly desire mind ama level. Mm-hmm. Ni ile level ya kuwa unafuata sana mwili wako. Unaona? Mm-hmm. So katika hii level number 4 kuna vitu tatu. Mm-hmm. Kuna desire of eating, desire of sleeping and desire of sex. Mm-hmm. Hizi vitu vitatu ziko katika number 4 mm-hmm. unapata watu wengi even students wakiwa class mwalimu anafundisha but hii ona kama hizi masaa mm-hmm. wengi sana wana dose of yeah tukicheki vizuri lui ulipokuwa shule maybe ulikuwa na haka system yeah uko class mwalimu anafundisha lakini upande nini huu mtu akusingizi kana pita akusingizi kana pita mm-hmm. kana kubeba mm-hmm. so tendelo so nikiisha hakuna kitu umepata mm-hmm. na nile ni mtu ambaye hataki kujituma all the time akichoka kidogo ni kulala ona mm-hmm. so second tuna nini tunapenda sana mambo na kutia ndani mm-hmm. ona yani ukiona kitu kuna kile kitu kinakuenda kina kuingia ndani ya moyo wako mm-hmm. lazima ile kitu ni kule mm-hmm. ona lazima kama ni chapati ni ile mm-hmm. nikiwa una vitobosha ni ile yani wewe ni mtu ambaye huwezi kasa huwezi ka dakika za kwa hesabu lazima mm-hmm. nini utenda utenda ndani yani ukienda mm-hmm. mahali unajulikana na na kukula yani mostly mwili wako unataka sana na unaofuata vinyo na vinyo unataka Then ukitoka hapo kuna kuja katika he sex issues now mm-hmm. of which watu wengi ama tuseme majuti wengi wako tuko, hapo tuko pale ona ukiona inapita macho yanakudondoka <laughs> watu tena hauli kwa macho wanakula live siku hizo wanasema nayo nayo paka uipate <laughs> 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 so unaona 
vijana wengi tunasumbuliwa na hii kitu. Mm-hmm. Mili yetu inatupush. Mm-hmm. So unaona vinye umemaliza kula umeenda bed, umetulia bed. Kitu nafuata unatoa phone. Watafuta mrembo wako, mm-hmm. wanataka kumchat. Mm-hmm. Baby huyo hiyo. Kama mmoja nimetoa kumuuliza hapa jana lala saa ngapi akaniambia lala saa sita za usiku. Nikamuuliza kwa nini saa sita? Nilikuwa na chat. Unapata sasa? <laughs> <laughs> so unaona ukila ukishiba uki relax mm. mind na kuja nini ya sex mambo mm. na sexual issues ndio zinakuja katika mind yako mm-hmm. so hii kitu ambayo imeshika watu wengi sana not only youths mm-hmm. hata wazee wetu hata wazee wetu ah. wako eh so tunapata kina mama squeeze na vibenten Uh-huh. Mwanzo kina mama sana kwa hiyo kuna kupata wengi sana wanaingilia paka vijana wanataka uh-huh. vijana wadogo unaona sasa yani tuko na hii mind uh-huh. a sexual desire mind uh-huh. all the time we think about sex 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 yani we cannot break this desire of our flesh uh-huh. ona then tukishuka hapo chini tuko na level number 5 uh-huh. ni gani abnormal mind katika abnormal mind si mwenda wazimu huyo <laughs> <laughs> so katika abnormal mind mm-hmm. tuko na hii hali ya kujiamini ona. kuna hiki kitu sana sana ambayo ni jiamini bwana hapa mm-hmm. ta lakini tukijiamini zaidi tunaona nini tunakosekewa mm-hmm. ona nitunde ni we are abnormal even the bible says so mm-hmm. ona mm-hmm. sitataja kifungu saa tuko katika mm-hmm. biblia mm-hmm. lakini ungepata ninapojiamini ninakosa kusikiza mtu mwingine mm-hmm. Then ninajaribu kukutatua shida zangu kivyangu peke yangu. Uvuchi mm-hmm. mwenyefani sitanishinda. Yeah. Sana sana mioyo yetu ni midhaifu. Ona. Mm-hmm. Our heart are not that precise. Tunapata tunafanya kitu tunafika tunakwama. Ona. Mm-hmm. So katika hii hali tukijiamini zaidi then tunaingilia katika nini katika drugs. Ona. Yeah. So unapata una unakuwa ile hali kwa ah mimi I can make it. Mimi naweza fanya hivi na hivi ona. Mm. So nikiji trust tunatoa mfano gani katika ino hivi vivi ni vya vitabu vya dini mm. kuna huyu mtoto mpotevu ni hadi dhambi inajulikana watu wengi sana. Yeah, alije trust lakini mwisho uh, ikabidi arudi kwa babake. Ikabidi arudi kwa babake. Mm-hmm. Mfano mzuri unatokea pale. Alimba babake nipatie mali fa nini? Nangukia. Ndam. Yeah. Akapatiwa. Alipatiwa jo nini? Mimi naweza manage na za manage naweza fanya kila kitu naweza kuwa na biashara nzuri mimi nitakushinda babangu. Ni una pesa nyingi nijisimamie. Akatoka kwa babake akaenda zake. Lakini kilichofuatia alishemsha gani maisha ya Anasa bado akarudi level number 4 mm. sexual mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in short tukiji trust at the end of the day tunaishi terrible life miserable life. Mm-hmm. So we need to lie kwa watu wengine. Tutegemeane si kujitegemea. Tunategemeana binadamu kujitegemea. Mm-hmm. No one is an island you cannot stand alone. Right. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Sawa so, niendele. Ah, uh, nataka kwa kuambia kwamba tutakuwa tunarudi katika linki mwisho ambapo pia tutakuwa tuna bingo mmoja ambao amekuja naye. Ah, uh, tutakuwa pia tutupatia ushuhuda kiasi. Na pia tutakuwa tuna pengine ingependa kujua tukirudi mtu anawezaje kutoka kwa mindset hii akaingia kwa mindset nyingine ambayo itaweza kuimprove maisha yake. Usiki mpya moto ya umeme mambo mapya uspime mwanangu Baraka FM shikamo shikamo Right here in the United States to look at our FM, hashtag class Tuesday and uh, to call uh, Beria Menza akiwa tunaongelea swala zima la mindset and uh, nafikiri atawe palo lipo una enjoy e class ya leo maana class yenye mafundisho tele nam uh, tukimalizia uh, mtu anawezaje kuhama kutoka kwa mindset kwa mfano an uh, abnormal kind of mindset uh, added mindset level 1 kwa mfano Uh, mtu kuhama katika hiyo level uh-huh. si kitu ngumu uh-huh. first kama nilivyoeleza kama mtu umefuata vizuri yeah. umejigundua uko wapi yeah. umejua uh-huh. kabisa mimi basi hapa niko level namba fulani so kama uko level namba 5 of hapo namba 4 hapo asiponi mimi hapo kama umejua level yako ni gani umeona hii level si nzuri uh-huh. especially kama ya Louis namba 4 uh-huh. then kitu ni tuache simple tu tuna tuna, tuna deny uh-huh. chenye mili yetu inafai, inataka mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so kama your body or your flesh ina ku control do this and this mm-hmm. it's like there's certain power ina ku drag for mm-hmm. you to do this and this mm-hmm. then that power which drags you then simple must deny it mm-hmm. you get me mm-hmm. inside our hearts huko na thoughts zinakuja mm-hmm. negative thoughts mm-hmm. kitu nyenye huko wanayo lakini people to pop 
Ona. Mm. Na ikiingia pale ndani inaingia kama kitu kidogo kama tunila maji hivi. Mm, mm. Lakini ikiingia instead of to shake it out na tuitoe tuna embrace. Mm, mm. It is negative na ito nakuwa nayo inamea inamea mushoke inafanya ina collect the whole heart or the whole mind. Inakosa ina kufanya ina ku drag ina ku move hivyo hivyo. So ukona hiki kitu ni geni imenikuja na sikuwa nayo then why do you have to embrace it? Take it out. Think positively. Mm. So ukona mimi ah for sure mimi ni mtu ambaye napenda sana mambo na flesh yangu napenda sana mtu basi guzi natumia ma drugs na nimeona ah kama ni mtu wa ma drugs na ni mtu wa sex sana ni ko level number 4 na level number 5 then nikitok nikiacheze kitu simple ab level number 3 to to 1 uh-huh. you get me yeah. lakini hakuna ada tutakuja injectiwa hiyo mind i change uh-huh. it to sit down and think oh for sure mimi mmesha noishi na ishi na katika this level of mind uh-huh. and this is a wrong mindset uh-huh. then let me acha hizi vitu dogo dogo zinazofanya ni fa nini ningi hapa kwa wengine no. the best mind is the mind of god uh-huh. get me no. yeah. so tukiacheze mbinu zetu zote tukiingia katika the mind of god uh-huh. they will be happy and successful why simple because inside your heart to get comfort yeah tukupa moja bwana uh-huh. right <laughs> uh, sasa tupate kijana mmoja ambaye ushawahi ku msaidia um, na kabadilika bro mambo vipi mambo poa unaitwa nani naitwa Kilian Jilani Mwamwe kutoka maeneo gani? Natoka maeneo ya Chumani lakini ni boda boda kilifi kibaone. Right. Ah uh, wewe kulingana na mafundisho ya huyu bwana yamekusaidia vipi uh, pengine ukieleza msikilizaji? Ah uh, mimi nilikutana na Biria akiwa kama mteja. Mm-hmm. Nikambeba nikampeleka kanisani. Ilikuwa Jumapili. Mm-hmm. Nilipofika kanisani katika maongezi yetu akaniambia kwamba E, nimekuona kambi unaweza kunikusanyia vijana nikakutana nao. Uh-huh. Tukabadilishana namba. Baada pale bila akanitafuta na mimi nikawa niko na ile area kwamba ni jue labda kuna nini chenye anahitaji aongee na vijana. Uh-huh. By the way Biri aliponieleza aliniambia kwamba anataka kubadilisha akili za vijana and it's all about mindset. Uh-huh. Nilipomuuliza kindani kiundani akaniambia kwamba we kama youth especially boda boda. Uh-huh huwa tuna changamoto nyingi ambazo huwa tunakumbana nazo. Uh-huh. Changamoto ya kwanza ni boda boda kujihusisha na visa vya kuchoma magari. Uh-huh. Visa vya madawa ya kulevya amba, ambayo haileti msaada wote katika maisha yetu. Uh-huh. Na Biria akanieleza kwamba inside our hearts huwa kuna kuja strange powers ambazo hizo huwa ndo tuna zina to drive kwa labda tutatumia madawa kulevya mm. ama hata tukiona accident boda boda amefanywa hivi na gari tuichome sasa kanambia you need to overcome those strange powers inside your heart mm-hmm. ndo iweze kukusaidia uwe uta, utasonga mbele kimaisha yeah. and the moment from there uh, mimi huwa napenda kutembea na biria hapa na pale kwa sababu nimemwona amenibadilisha mimi nilikuwa natafuna mgoka mira mimi nilikuwa pia niko hiyo level 4 Mm-hmm. lakini by the way na shukuru biria mm-hmm. amenisaidia nimeacha mgoka mm-hmm. hiyo level 4 nime, nimeikataa mm-hmm. na nashukuru Mungu naenda kanisani nimeokoka right. na biblia inanisaidia wow. katika maisha yangu na mshukuru biria sana na ningetamani hata boda boda wengine wakutane na biria niko na imani tutakuwa na vijana wazuri kilifi pwani nzima na Kenya kwa jumla Wow, thank you very much for that short testimony. It's a nice one. Na amenda direct to the point kwamba uh, kwa kumbeba tu kumefikia yeye kuweza kubadilika na kuona manufaa hata wenzake waweze kubadilika. So, bwana Biria mimi nitasema shukran sana. Na tukimalizia unalipi la kuambia vijana. Alafu pia tuambie ni njia gani mtu anaweza kukupata katika mtandao wa kijamii ndio pia tuweze kufuatilia maana I think a lot of forums za vijana unafaa kualikwa kuweza kuongelesha. Uh, kitu ambacho nitaambia vijana wenzangu mm-hmm. uh, sisi kama vijana tukiangalia hivi tuko the biggest population hapa Kenya mm-hmm. kama sabini kuendelea mm-hmm. so kama si vijana tutabadilika then inchi yetu ya Kenya itakuwa ya wazee first of all lazima to change fikra zetu potovu na tuingie katika fikra nzuri tutoke katika negative thinking to a positive thinking mm-hmm. of which tutakuwa na positive life katika maisha yetu So poto lipo kijana mwenzangu singependa uharibike sababu ya sababu sijui wewe ni mtu wa anasa sana 
sababu yani mambo ni mengi sana ambayo vijana tunapenda kufuata tunaona ni raha lakini mwisho wake ni karaha mm. so kumekuwa na hii hali sana sana hapo Mombasa county tumepata wamama sana wakipigania humu goka uachu yani atakeshikwa na mguka fa nini it's like achukuliwa hatua mm. wampiga sana hiyo hatua la sijui umefikia wapi of late lakini nimeona fa jambo la maana sana mm. vijana kwa mpaka wazazi wameingilia kati tujue kwa tunapotea na hii hi hali ya mihadarati mm. especially the mguka type yeah. so to let us change from fifth level of mind to the first level of mind and we have a very peaceful county a very peaceful country whereby it will be led by youth with positive thinking with positive mind Right, shukran sana. Tunakupataje kwenye mtandao? Uh, ukinitafuta katika Facebook ninajita Biria Brian Menza. I Biria bu spell maana inaweza kuwa ni Kitaliano. Biria ndugu yangu si Kitaliano wala si Kijerumani ni Kigiriama. Biria Kiswahili tu. Biria Kiswahili B I R Y E B R I A. Oh. Hivyo tu usiongeze na eni mbele kwa biryani sababu hizi uh. siku zaidi hapana. Ni tu birya alafu kuna brand alafu kuna menza. Hapo ndani ukinitafuta utapata the activities that inafanya. Uh-huh. Utaona hizo youth centers nimeenda, the yeah. polytechnics, universities, hizo mashule zote, yeah. the boda boys nime meet now. Uh-huh. Kila kitu nime nime hapo ndani. Right. So unaweza ingia ndani, tuka chat, ukanieleza ni nini shida yako wapi? Then tunaweza ongeleshana pia ukabadilika. Okay, mahali maybe unataka nije katika shule yako, ni kanisa yako, nije na kushe vijana, uweze nitafuta nayo hali. Shukran sana naona wakati umetupa kisogo uh, Biri ya Menza kwa kuweza kutuongelesha kuhusu na swala la mindset na pia uh, kijana ambaye ameweza kutoa ushuhuda wa vipi ameweza kubadilika. Uh, shukran tena sana sana. Endelea kuwabadilisha vijana and I'm very sure wale wachacha mbona wabadilisha wataishia kuwabadilisha wenzao na mwisho watabadilika wengi kwa pamoja. Amen. Muziki mpya moto ya umeme mambo mapya usipime mwanangu baraka fm shikamo shikamo